Masking tape is perhaps one of my favorite tools as a painter, and it can help so many new painters for so many different reasons. And it's just one of the many things hiding in your garage that's gonna make painting way easier for you. Wanna find out the rest? Stay tuned. What is going on all you awesome creative people? In this video right here, we're going over my top five art hacks that you can find in your garage. And we're starting off strong with masking and painter's tape. No joke, everybody should have this and you probably do hiding in your garage. You can use masking and painter's tape for so many different things from marking off your horizon line so everything's gonna look clean for your landscape to keeping your edges in frame extra clean by having straight lines for things like a gallery wrap or a certain design and aesthetic you're going for. If you wanna add designs to your painting surface, you can drop that in with thinner masking and painter tape to achieve really cool effects. No joke, everybody should have painter's tape and masking tape as a part of their toolbox as an artist. And I really recommend getting different types, which you'll learn about later in your painting career, and also having different widths to fit the situation that you need. Next, we have up A clamps or alligator clamps. Chomp, chomp, ladies. That actually worked out my forearms a little bit there. These are fantastic for holding your canvas in place if your easel is becoming a little more loose or wiggly on those mounting brackets that you have. Most mounting brackets are put there by threaded bolt systems, and those will wear down over time. And if that happens to you, like it happened to me, using A clamps to hold those mounting brackets in place will make sure that your painting surface won't wiggle or you know fall off your easel. Simply just put these on the mounting brackets. I also really appreciate A clamps for another little hack that I showed in our previous video. If you like to use Ziploc bags as a liner for your paint thinner, once you remove that Ziploc bag, you can use an A clamp to hang that bag on the end of any shelf or surface and let that thinner separate out from a pigment, making it easy to clean and reuse that thinner for later. I really recommend everybody have a clamps not just for painting hey maybe for the intense workout that you can get come on work it work it ryan ah it's so hard do it stop pushing me coach sorry i'm having flashbacks here to baseball camp mm. arts garage hack number three is another clamp and it's this clamp right here no i was always told this is called a cardellini clamp but i know it's also called a bar clamp and this is your savior if you have an h easel or a bigger easel out there that wobbles and shakes a little bit. Simply attach this to the base structure and the base of your easel, tighten it down to the leg support, and it will greatly minimize the shake that happens on your easel. Now, if you work in bigger canvases, this is also your savior for making sure that your top mounting bracket that's holding in your canvas won't shake or move or pop or come loose. I use this all the time when I work on gigantic canvases because I am super worried that that canvas is gonna pop or move. Having this mounted and kind of like really put in there stops that completely. When it comes to clamps, I really recommend you just get yourself a cheaper assortment pack. I'll put a link down to the ones that I use. These uh, quick grip ones that I have, but you know, any basic ones will work perfect because you use them not only for your garage needs, but your household needs and yes, your artist needs as well. The greatest garage hack you're gonna find for artists is this right here, a bungee cord that you can make into a makeshift cleaning station. Simply thread this through some paper towel, then connect both ends and hang it around the legs of your easel. With that paper towel hanging, you now have a makeshift cleaning station that you can use to clean off excess thinner that might be hanging on your brush that you don't want, or paint that you don't want hanging around that's gonna contaminate other sections. No joke, a bungee cord is great. I mean, I use it on every single easel I have. Look, I'm, I'm not lying. Look, it's just sitting right here. I use it all the time. Grab a bungee cord and start using it. All right, number five might be more situational because I'm noticing as I get older, less and less people do this, but when I was a kid, everybody did this. And that is utilizing a baby food jar. Now I have baby food jars in my garage because I put things like loose screws and nails or when you get something from like Ikea and you get those extra pieces, I put them all in here and it's fantastic. But did you know using a baby food jar for when you want to travel and paint is also good? Because it's going to have a secure lid for you want to transfer things like your thinners or mediums out there. Or if you do anything with water, hey, you can put water in here for cleaning out your brushes. Most 
art stores out there will make you buy those like I can't even explain what they are but they're like wells that have like lids on them and they're fantastic but they can be a little expensive a baby food jar is pretty darn cheap and if you don't have access to a baby food jar I guarantee you somebody in your neighborhood has a baby just simply ask them for their leftover jars that's what I did Whew, it's starting to get hot in here if you like these type of art hacks you know there's more that I have on this channel right here that's gonna make painting easier for you or make things a lot better for you as you go on your creative outlet and you know what you can check them out over to my side but it's lunchtime for me and I gotta go eat some more baby food I mean uh nothing I like baby food